I'm going to show you how to set up a promotion based on product tags. So the promotion I'm setting up will be 20% off any of the products that show up under the Valentine's Day featured products. Now to set up the Valentine's Day featured products, any of these four products, um, first you go into Lab 50 and click on uh, Store Management Application Settings. And under Ordering, there are your four tabs right here, featured items. You can either set it directly to be Valentine's Day or um, set the automatic seasonal occasion. So once you do that, your site will show up with this featured button. So there are a number of ways to figure out which products are showing up under this button. You can look them up in My Lab or Lab 50, or you can do this method. Um, and view them directly on the site. So I'm going to replace photodepot.ca or photofinale.com with pfsandbox.com slash debug settings. I'm going to choose to enable debug display and hit create. Now what this is going to do, you'll notice there are numbers under each one. Now this is just for your view. Your users won't see this and we'll reset it when we're done. Um, so then I'm going to click into my featured products so I can see what products are showing. And drill down into each group until you get to the product level here. Each product has a product ID, which is the bottom. Don't confuse it with ID product. Um, product ID 609-3204. So I'm going to jot down that number. Um, and then when I'm setting up the product tag, use that number to identify this exact product that I want to be part of the promotion. So that do this go. Uh, I'm going to go through and do this for each um, each product. Now you can also, when you add the product to that product tag group, you can search by the ID, but you can also search by a common term. So these all say 20 page. So I just did a quick count and jotted that down along with 20 page because rather than write down each ID, that's how I'm going to search for these products. Um, same thing with photo cards. They all say photo card. Uh, I know how many there are, so um, I don't have to write down all those IDs. And same thing with the layout. So they all say Lucy layout. I know how many. So now that I've done that, I'll show you how you can go back and um, reset my um, debug settings so uh, this number won't show up um, when I'm under that view. And I can hit reset. So then I go into um, my lab. Under product tags, we've set up a number of default product tags. What product tags allow you to do is make a promotion based on the tag rather than based on the specific product ID. So if I want to have a deal off of any calendar, I don't have to do the promotion off of each particular product ID, I can do the promotion off of anything tagged with calendar. So that's the idea behind the Valentine's Day promotion. So I've uh, created this earlier, and when you create a new um, product tag down here, it, it shows up at the top, and when you come back in, it will show up alphabetically. So we have Valentine's down at the bottom. And I've already added the photo card, so I'm going to go ahead and add the other products. So I can show you, I'll add the mug based on the ID. And there's my mug, so I'll add that. And I'm going to add my 20 page books. I'm going to search for those by 20 page. And take a look here. And this is, these are all the same products, and this is the same number of products, so I know I've got all of them. I'm going to add those. And the last set that I have to add are the layouts, which are the square, um, the square print. So here are all my layouts. Oops. There. Now I've got 33 products under my Valentine's product tag. So once that's finished, then I'm going to go set up my promotion. Now the promotions are set up in Lab 50. So I'm switching over to Lab 50. I've already logged in. Um, store management coupon. So I've set one up already. So you don't have to watch me try to type. Um, 
I've called it love, and this is the, the code that they will type in to get this promotion. Um, you can have a promotion that doesn't require them to type in a code. Um, it will just automatically deduct the price. So this is 20% off all products that have Valentine's design. So if they click on that Valentine's group, they'll see all those products. They're not going to be restricted to the um, Valentine's designs for this promotion. They'll be restricted to the products that we've set up. So they can really order any design. Once we save that, um, we go back out into the product discounts and promotions button right next to coupons. And we create a new discount, which I've already done here. I'm just going to open it. Um, fill out the data um, when you want your start and end date to be. And then we go to the conditions. Um, so I've checked on unlimited. So this means if they order a mug and a Lucy layout and a photo book, it can apply multiple times to that order. And I've checked unlimited so the customer can use it again. So if they come back to the site and order something else, they can they still get the deal. So the condition is that they enter the coupon. So this will pull down the coupons that you've created back on the coupons tab. So the condition is they have to enter a coupon and they have to buy the product that we've set up, one of the products that we've tagged with Valentine's. So the condition here is buy one of a product that's tagged with Valentine's. I don't want to limit to registered members only. I don't want to limit um, when the discount is active. And this is going to be available for all orders, though you can limit to pick up and ship. So once they've met those conditions, then you go to the awards tab. This is what they get for meeting those conditions. They get um, an unlimited number of other products that are tagged with Valentine's at 20% off. I'm including the product used to qualify for the award, which means if they order a mug, they will get that mug at 20% off. If I exclude that product, then they would get the original mug, and then the next mug would be 20% off. Once you've done your um, award, you can save it. And it will show up with a green light um, when it's active. I currently have the date set so it is not active, but that can be changed. And then when the customer goes and shops on your site, if they order any of those products, like the mug, the photo books, the cards, They'll see all the Valentine's ones first if they come through that way. They can order any of the other ones. And then they'll be able to enter that coupon code when they go through the checkout. And that's how to set up a promotion using 